since 19, well, 1939. We've been a family affair for lots of years. We are supposedly the longest family owned ski area in America. My dad had one purpose in mind, and that was to teach young people to enjoy winter and to observe it. And his thinking was, if you ski, you come up here skiing Saturday, you're gonna be tired when you go home, and you won't be crowding around town. And he wanted his kids to do something. All of us kids worked at the resort. Did we get paid? No. We got to, we got to eat our feet under the table at home, and we got a free ski ticket. My father and mother-in-law started it, mostly as a fun winter recreational place for their children. And they never realized it would turn into a full-time job for them. And how did my dad know the snow deer? Because when he was a young person, he'd, he'd come in here on his skis before the road was open to do snow depth for Utah State University. The first year we just had a, a, a gas motor with a, with a wheel on that we jacked up with a, with a rope on it. We just moved in. The second year we were here, we got a, a, a truck that had been a, a dairy delivery truck and it had been wrecked. And of course, we didn't want the top of the cab anyway, so we brought it, got it pulled up on top of the mountain, jacked it up, and grooved the wheels so that the cable come in on the right hand side, go across on two pulleys, and out the other side, and, and return back. And us kids used to run that. I was running the lift when I was 14. And of course, the kids could shift gears on it, and it'd go just to scooting. We'd go uphill just to, just to sailing them. Of course, my dad, my dad used to cuss us kids, you can't do that, you can't do that. In them days on ski patrol, if you could ski and you were the first one here, you were issued the belt and you were on patrol today. Al Fingen came up here in about 50, 48, and he rode the rope toe up and come down and he says, Harry, he says, I think this make a very fine ski area. What's, uh it's been a heritage for quite a while. It's, uh, it's neat to be a part of that. Just a, a fun area, good for families. And we'd, we'd like to keep it that way. There's been uh, four generations of my family working here in various capacities, all different cousins and aunts and uncles, and uh, that makes it real fun. All of our children uh, have worked up here since they were little. I mean, when they were probably was against the law firm to be working, but yeah, they were all working when they were young. And there have been different times through their growing up years that we've had oh, three generations working here at the same time. Well, we do now, in fact, because we've got grandchildren that work here now. And my mom uh, runs the ticket office. Um, she works probably more than any of us, works six plus days a week, and, and is the office manager down here handles all the marketing for the resort and then my father Ted is the general manager of the ski area and he's 79 years old and still works probably almost that many hours a week. You know, with a family owned business you're you're always kind of working I think. I'm lucky I actually have two of my sons that are working with me this year and also a son in law. I'm Wendell Lichty on Beaver Mountain Ski Patrol for sixty one years. Well I think every day is a little different. I like I ski four to five days a week, and, and uh, it's just a lot of fun to come up here and be with the family. And, oh yeah, so I can remember all the Seaholzer kids. I skied with them. When you've got guys that eighty some years old and been skiing with you every day and can't wait to come back, you're doing something right. You're doing something. If those people aren't coming, it's because you're, you've met it up. You give them a bunch of crap. Yeah. I, I think one of the very best parts of running this resort and being right here at this window is all of the people that you meet and have lifelong lasting friendships with. And you see them skiing and they bring their children to ski and you see their grandchildren to come back to Beaver Mountain. That to me is one of the funnest things. I think probably the the neat thing about Beaver is that everything focuses, everything funnels right down to our ticket office and lodge area. It's a good place for beginners, advanced, intermediate, experienced skiers. Everybody can kind of hit about whatever they want 
and then 15 minutes later they can meet down at the bottom and have lunch or, or go to the parking, whatever they need to do. You know, we're, we're proud of our snow and our, our mountain. As far as family friendly and affordable, uh, can't beat it. The price is one thing. We're sitting here at a $40 lift ticket. We're selling season passes today for $300. For the for you buy one today, you can use it all the rest of this season and all of next. Oh, sure, I remember the powder snow. How does this work? I remember lip With breakdowns, and, and I can remember um, a lot of stuff like that. Called, that but for sure after that, the I'm time isn't available to tell everything. <laughs> You can't tell the same story every time or people think you're BSing. <laughs> you got to change it a little bit.